Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing daily challenges for today, Sunday, October the 6th, 2024. Let's take a look at and see what we got for today. Alright, we got some good ones here. Now I have many videos on my channel that will help you guys out. It could be different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas that were there. If you're a brand spanking new player to the game, you're a returning player, even if you're an experienced player, there's a particular daily or weekly challenge that's giving you a hard time or trouble. I'm sure you'll find a video on my channel that will help you. I try to keep my videos as updated as I possibly can. And of course, you guys are awesome. The great comments and tips, which I'd really appreciate it. Okay, let's take a look here. There's a couple that we can do around the same time. Let's take a look at this one here first. Scrap junk to produce plastic 10, so plastic is a junk item that we can use the bulk and scrap method at the Tinker's Workbench. Let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick here. Just go to your Tinker's Workbench and you go ahead and go craft. You go down to bulk, go down to the P section. As long as you have 12 molded plastic in your stash or scrap box, you bulk one plastic and then you scrap it. That is hands down the fastest, quickest, easiest way to complete this daily challenge. It's great for people who are kind of on the go and just want to get these daily weekly challenges done. Balkan and scrap method is definitely where it's at. Now another thing you can also do is uh, recently, I say within the last couple of months, got this new camp resource. It is called the Red Rocket Dumpster Collector. It will collect junk, but it collects junk when you scrap gives you plastic. Now you can check out that video if you so wish. I don't think it's in the Atomic Shop at the moment. Uh, but again, it is a great way where you have a camp resource. You can just collect this stuff and scrap it. And it is definitely a way to do it as well. Uh, another good way is uh, a really good spot to find junk items to give you plastic. It is fairly close to Morgantown. So we're actually going to spawn over here at Big Al's Tattoo Parlor. So let's pop it up here. And this is more so for the folks who are legitimately looking for plastic. So once you're here at Big Ass Tattoo Parlor, we're going to head east. We're going to go right up that hill there, okay? So let's go ahead. You know, they did this out. Now you should need a jetpack to get up here. You can just kind of climb your way. Shouldn't be a problem. Just going to keep going east, as you can see on the compass down below. Come across this house up here. This house is the cat house, I call it. <laughs> and um, there's going to be all kinds of cat bowls in here. There's also a bunch of cats here <laughs> on the uh, on the wall. But there's all kinds of plastic here as well. Let's go ahead and take a cat bowl here. Uh, so you can see one cat bowl gives us two plastic. And as you can see, there's all kinds of cat bowls here. I think you can get... Jeez, anywhere from 20 to 40 cat bowls here on a good day. But these are like all over the place. Let's go ahead there. Did you see, see how it kind of grew there a little bit? <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? All right, so we should have enough cat bowls there. We have 10 cat bowls, two each, so that, that'll give us 12. All right, so let's go ahead. Now we can go back to a Tinker's workbench. Go to any route. Uh, any workbench at all. Go to another player's workbench. We can go back to our own camp, whatever you want to do. Let's head back to our camp here. All right, let's go ahead here. We're gonna scrap this stuff up here. There we go. Go ahead and go scrap. Scrap these cat bowls here. There we go. Scrap done to produce plastic 10 for 10 done. But again, if you're short on time, the balking and scrapping method is definitely where it's at. Or if you just happen to have this uh, red rocket dumpster collector. Pretty useful. Okay, what's next here, Jim? like to burn book three okay so we talked about this one here quite often i do have a pretty good video where you can find the burnt book obviously one of the best spots is right here in Summersville. so once when you spawn in it is the house on the right hand side once upon a time it used to be 
infested with Mylurks now will find maybe about four or five weakened ghouls. This is hands down the best spot for burnt books. You can also find burnt books up here in Halvatia is a pretty good spot. In the white house across the street from the yellow house on the corner. Just make your way upstairs and there's all kinds of burnt books up there as well. And I believe over here in the Overseer's home and even in Sutton is the, uh, it's like the blue house just down from the Overseer's house. It is the house that she grew up in and there'll be all kinds of burnt books in there as well. So that's actually a pretty good spot. So actually, uh, I usually bring you guys here to the uh, house in Somersville. Uh, but I do want to make a warning that you can go to that house. And uh, it is a house that has so many burnt books. A lot of people use uh, that house to reset their game by picking up 250 or 255 items. So you can go to that house if on public servers back to back and there'll be not one burnt book there. So that doesn't mean they don't go there anymore. It's just that you just kind of missed out. Somebody had cleared it out because they want to reset the game and you know, many people do it. So just an FYI. So actually let's go over here to Sutton. And I've actually spun up here the, at the Overseer's home just a little bit quick. To give you guys as many options as possible. And so there's the uh, Overseer's home right there. Uh, but this blue house is the house that she grew up in. Those of you who, uh, you know, did the uh, little quest line at the very beginning. Right, let's head inside here. It's been a little while, but I believe they are all upstairs. No, there are some right here. Right, two of them right there. Nice. Uh, let's head upstairs here. And there's some right on this shelf right here. So just in case, if you do happen to go to the uh, house that is in Somersville and there's none there and you kind of serve a hop a couple of times. So just an FYI, just to give you guys a couple extra options. So there you guys go. Pretty good little spot there. Usually a lot of people forget about this place. All right, what's next here? Take a look at this one here. Collect caps 250. So there's a couple of different ways we can do this. You can wait for someone to come to your vendor and buy things from you. You can maybe ask a friend or someone on a team to buy some stuff you can buy some stuff back from their vendor you can definitely do it that way but you can also be waiting for a very long time if you don't know if you're kind of too shy maybe you don't want to interact with too many people uh, so you can wait for a long time another thing you can do is collect caps is sometimes we do get a free item in the atomic shop so every day we get a free item it'll be down here in the uh right there this one here, special free special offer. So I believe yesterday was 250 caps. Today is a free lunchbox. So it always pays off every day. If you have the chance, if you remember, always claim your free item in your atomic shop. Everyone gets a free item every single day. And sometimes there'll be some caps here, uh, like it was yesterday, but unfortunately not here today. Uh, you can definitely do it that way. You can claim that 250 caps and it will count towards the daily challenge. And what we did last time is we actually... Uh, use the season if you I think we did this one maybe last week uh, but well, yeah we claimed this one here it was 5,000 caps and we claimed it right off the season pass when I mean, you do that uh, that will also count in terms of collecting caps for daily weekly challenges the main thing you gotta remember is you gotta make sure you have enough room for the 5,000 caps or at least the number of caps that you're looking to collect for the daily challenge because your max is 40,000 so something you always got to remember so right now I'm at 38,313, so you should have all kinds of room to collect 250 caps. Now another thing what we can do is there's a couple good spots right up here in Morgantown Airport. There's all kinds of scorched. And if you're lucky enough to spawn in collision course, all kinds of weapons and armor and, and chems, and you don't have to worry about wearing a KOA booster or being overweight, you can just walk over here to the Morgantown station and sell it now. A lot of times you'll get a lot of pipe weapons and melee weapons, so they don't give you a whole lot of caps for that. So I suggest, if you do it this way, come right down here to Welsh. As well as we'll have the mole miners, and they have shotguns, combat shotguns, missile launchers, and the gauntlets. And they'll all give you about 19 caps and ups. Okay, so it's a really good spot. So let's pop down here today and do it. Go down here to Welsh Station. 
we're going to take care of all these mole miners down here. We're going to be collecting all their weapons. And uh, we're going to sell it right to that vendor bot up, right up here. Don't have to worry about fast traveling. Don't worry about being overweight. It's a pretty good spot. You can do this anytime. I believe this weekend is uh, caps of plenty, so the robot vendors do have more caps available. So just an FYI on that. I think it's usually two, uh, twelve fifty, but I think it's usually I think it's more than that during caps uh, caps of plenty weekend like this weekend. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and we're going to. All right, so this guy's got an assault rifle. Now sometimes right up here there'll be some weapons just kind of hanging out up here as well. So he's got a gauntlet and a shotgun, so that's pretty awesome. There's a one right there. There's a bunch of weapons that are just kind of laying up here, which is pretty awesome. Okay, let's go ahead here and get our little friends here. for this weapon. Alright, let's go up here. It's a launcher. And this is all you have to do. It's uh, you can do this at any time actually. Oh how are you doing there? You jeez, I didn't see you there, buddy. You're scared me. Wow. Even that guy over there is electrocuted from the circuit breaker. I love it. I love it so much. It makes my day, actually. <laughs> Alright, there's uh, another weapon here just laying there. So as you can see, it's a really good spot because a lot of times these guys will give multiple weapons a gauntlet and some sort of shotgun. It's a really good spot. This guy's got a couple weapons on. There we go. Nice. Another double weapon. Perfect. And as you can see, he had a few caps on him. We got the caps off him. And it'll also count. I find Rad Toad's pretty good for that as well, for collecting caps. As you can see, look at that. There's another weapon right there. Should be another weapon over here just laying there. Okay, let's go up through here. My oh, sugar bomb's up there, nice. Oh, Super Mutant is already dead there. Should be a weapon up here as well. Just lay in there. Nice. Sometimes there's a weapon over here as well, but not today. Of course, anytime you're here in Welsh, highly recommend you go to this wreckage. Grab that stuff out of there. It's always good. Lots of goodies there. And as you can see, I'm overweight, so I'm not too I'm not too concerned about it. Just have that train station nearby. We don't have to fast travel. And that's why I recommend these those two spots, Morgantown Airport here. And that way they don't have to worry about wearing a carry weight booster or being overweight. Just grab the stuff and sell it to the NPC vendor and done. Just like that. That board that's not gonna give us much, but I don't know, there's another weapon there. I don't know why these guys are are already dead. They must have been in a... Oh. I was going to say, okay, he looks like a rock there for a second. <laughs> Another gauntlet. Nice. Okay, so we should have more than enough. Now, there should be two more guys up there, but we're not going to bother going up there. Of course, right up there is the random encounter area where you have enemies fighting other enemies. We're just going to head right up here to the train station. Because we have enough weapons on us already. I 
Let's head this way. Alright, so there are a couple of our cards that can help us out, of course. And our charisma. Where did that guy? It'll be right here. It's called Hard Bargain. Now, even though you don't have a level 3, you could have like a level 1, level 2. Definitely apply it. It's only going to help you. And of course, if you happen to have great mentats under aid, as you can see, plus 5 charisma and better barter rates for 10 minutes. So this will give you more caps as well. All right. Let's go ahead. We're going to have to sell this stuff to this cat others. here. Let's go to our Supply. weapons section. Available you can here. roughly see how much we're getting. So these combat shotguns, of course, it all depends on the condition. Look at that guy. That was like uh, 30 caps. This is all you do. Nice and easy. And again, you can do this anytime. So you can see how many Don't caps uh, the vendor bot has. It's like quite a few. So it's like supply. up over, you know, 2,700 or so. And... Uh, when usually they only have like maybe half that, so caps of plenty is a good time to do this. There we go. That caps 250 for 250 now done. So let's go ahead. We're just gonna keep going here and sell this stuff. And mission and gear. Awesome. Just like that. Don't forget to put your card back if you happen to use this perk card. We're gonna put uh compressor back on. Oh nice. Let's get something to drink here real quick before we continue on. Running out of purified water. Okay. What's next here? Let's take a look. Like the lighter, cigarette, or cigar, five. Okay, so there's a pretty good spot. You can find cigarettes and cigars. Of course, I do have a video on it. One such spot is right up here at Good Old Sugar Grove. Now, if you go all the way to the end in that video, okay, there's a 50% chance you'll come across an Assaultron. Now, the Assaultron is very hard. It's one of those ones that go invisible, okay? So... Uh, just be very careful, but the other 50% chance is you'll come across uh, Lieutenant Gutsy. He's a lot easier than the Assaultron. You guys have seen these videos long enough where sometimes we meet the Assaultron, and sometimes we just get the Lieutenant Gutsy, and uh, definitely prefer the Lieutenant Gutsy. So just an FYI, uh, that if you do come here at the very end, where of course the cigarette packs and the packages are, you may come across the Assaultron. Another great spot is, of course, right down here at Camp Liberty. Right around that little bonfire. Great spot there as well. Another great spot is good old Flatwoods, of course. So let's just see. Let's go to Flatwoods here today. Spawn right in there. Right, so if you take this uh, this road up here, you'll see this trailer it has a bunch of flamingos outside of it here with the red door. Okay, there are going to be some uh, cigarettes in here, just like kind of single cigarettes. So, as we can see there. Loaded. We get a cigarette carton right there. We have little cigarettes right here as well. So this is a really good spot for cigarette. There we go. Five for five, just in this bathroom alone. There's another one right there we can grab. I believe yeah, there's usually a couple on this table, but the explosion probably flung them away. So unfortunately. Can't show you that. Let's check this room. So there's usually a couple in this room, as you can see right there. You can just pick right up. There's another one right there. So this is a really good spot. So as you can see, you don't need the cigarette packets per se. You just need the individual cigarettes. So just an FYI. And this is a nice, easy spot for many people right here in good old Flatwoods. Let's lock it low, Jimmy. What's next here? Right, so we're going to incorporate these two here at the same time. Cripple Super Mutant's Arm 2. 
kill a super mutant five, right? So there's many great spots that we can find super mutants in around the wasteland. Of course, those of you who have camps, I'm sure your camp has been attacked by the Oz super mutant or two, so just an FYI. But in terms of nice, easy areas, uh, as easy as they come is right here in good old North Kanabad Lookout, pretty close to Vault 76. We have Grafton. We have Grafton Dam. We have Grafton Steel. Now, Grafton Steel is not that bad of a spot if you take your time, okay? Uh, the only thing that makes it hard is just the sheer number of super mutants and mutant hounds that are around, but it is a great spot to clear out. Even if you're like level 20, just take your time with it and it can, it can be done. It can be done, all right? Another great spot that's fairly easy is up here, Wade Airport. And we have Nougat. A little bit higher, harder level areas than Huntersville. West Tech Research. Skyline Valley Region, of course, we have the Grindstone Arch. And we have Research Site Saxony, okay? So actually, um, we haven't been down here in a little while, so let's go to the Grindstone Arch and uh, check this place out. Now there's usually five uh, super mutants that are here. Mm. We haven't been down here in a little while, so let's uh, kind of change it up once in a while. Uh, so I guess the main thing we got to remember for this first one here, Cripple a Super Mutant's Arm 2. So you can go ahead and free aim if you so wish. Definitely nothing wrong with that. I prefer to use Vats myself. And if you use Vats, there's a perk card that'll help you out under Perception. It is called Concentrated Fire. It allows you to move your Vats around from head, torso, arms, and legs. The main reason I like to use Vats is because if you have the right weapon, you can go left arm, right arm, and all you need is one Super Mutant. Now, we do all have that one weapon that is extremely, uh, you know, does a lot of damage. You know, one shot, one kill kind of deal. So, you know, you may need a couple of super mutants, but not all weapons are the created equal when you're looking to do a, uh, you know, one of those uh, crippling effects there. Uh, now, this weapon I have right here is a circuit breaker, and it's kind of hit and miss, <laughs> to be honest with you guys. But I find most ballistic weapons, uh, the bow and arrow, the drill, but, you know, you wear some power armor or if you're a tanky build. Uh, shotgun works extremely well. But you must have the Enforcer perk card uh, equipped under agility. It works exceptionally well, actually. Uh, plasma caster, plasma rifle works quite well. But I know a lot of energy weapons. I know myself, I don't have a whole lot of luck <laughs> other than the plasma. But, uh, but this one is kind of hit. So we're going to go ahead and go for the arm. Wait for this guy to come back. He's a little too far away. Right arm. As you can see, it's not all crazy. There we go. We finally got one. Oh, my lord. His left arm there. There's our buddy there. So this guy is also considered a super mutant here too, this uh, behemoth. Let's get him in the left arm here. <laughs> Try the right arm. Stand right there, buddy. I just want to more or less show you guys that this guy counts as a super mutant as well. Yeah, there's not much having much. Oh, poor. Ow. That's a little fella, isn't he? 
that's electrocuted. <laughs> Alright, so you see how he counted as a super mutant, that big boy there? Yeah, right on, Jim. <laughs> Did we get the cripples? Is what I want to know. No, we still got one more super mutant arm to cripple. Of course we do. Alright. Let's see what this guy's got on me. These guys are usually good for quite a bit of stuff. He's got a life preserver just in case he waddles in some water there. But as you can see, it's uh, a little super mutant, okay? i try to cripple our arm here. Nope. One more guy here left. Oh, no, there's a guy up there. He's going for the right arm. There we go, finally got it. Holy jeez. Is it just rolling your eyes? I know, I can feel it. <laughs> that was a struggle, wasn't it? And that's, that's why I always like to kind of give you guys examples of weapons from my experience that are better, <laughs> all right? And I've been using this one here the past week, and as you guys know, I like to kind of switch the weapons up once in a while, change things up, but uh, but yeah. Hit and miss, as I mentioned. Hmm. It's kind of familiar, isn't it? It's a little bit shorter. This looks just like the, um, the little brewing vat there that we just got, but definitely a little shorter. It's a little miniature version. Hmm. Interesting. All right. But yeah, it's good to see. Uh, one of the main reasons why I came here is I want to show you how that behemoth is up there. And that's, uh, that is a spawn point for behemoth is up top. How he counts as a super mutant, right? What's next here, Jim? Oh, geez, we got to repair this uh, weapon here, bots. Let's go ahead and do that. There's a little repair kit there. There we go. What's next here? Uh, join a team with another player. One. Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll take a look at the map and see if anyone has joined me. I don't believe so. Nope, just me here. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to go to a public server with other people. And sometimes we have to do that, right? server with other people. I'm going to join a team with another player. One. Alright, so a couple different things. You go social, top right hand corner of the screen, and you can create your own team, if you so wish, and wait for somebody else to join you. That is definitely the way to do it. Or you can join a team that is kind of wide open. Let's go ahead and join this team here. There we go. Join a team with another player one for one. Right? Now if you do join, if you do create your own team, and you're by yourself, of course, you're not going to get credit until that other person uh, gets on that team with you. So just an FYI. All right, I think we're done. Just like that, guys. Another easy one here today. There you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have a chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffin, Heather, White Tribe, Robco, Mr. Shelton, Drake Stamps, Mr. Prince, Not Me But Me, Yes Me, That's Me, G-Double-3-K, thank you all so very much, and I hope you all have a nice day.